Friday, April 28th, and it is supposed to be a beautiful day, so get outside and play today. Um, I have a very, very different episode for you guys today. We are used to having several different segments on our show, right? And it's lots of fun to visit so many different people, but today I have one. Yes, one very special visitor for you, and she's going to show us how to bake some muffins and read us a book at that very same time. Okay, so are you guys excited to see what we have in store for you today? I thought so. Let's get ready to listen to Miss Megan read and bake for us. And we will see you again tomorrow as that is going to be our one segment today. Happy Tuesday. Bye-bye. Hi, friends. It's Miss Megan here. Um, I am bringing you guys today a super fun activity that I have been wanting to do with you. And it's all based around a book, If You Give a Moose a Muffin. Have you read this book before? This is one of my favorite books. And I especially love this book because sometimes living in Colorado, we are fortunate enough to see moose outside of our homes or when we're taking hikes. Please remember when you see a moose, it's always, always, always very important to keep your distance and stay with your family or adults. Moose, as beautiful and awesome as they are, can be very dangerous. So, with that being said, in this book, if you give a moose a muffin, they're talking about making muffins. So I wanted to make muffins with you guys today. Let's go into my kitchen and make some muffins. And while the muffins are in the oven, we'll read our book. Hi guys, I'm here in my kitchen and we are getting ready to make our blueberry muffins. Um, so we have to get all of our ingredients out and our mixing bowls and things like that. But before we get started, we all need to wash our hands. All right, guys, so we're ready for step one on our instructions. And step one says to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Make sure you're having your mom or dad or any other adult who's in your house help you when you're using hot things in your kitchen like the oven. Okay, so we need to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. We're gonna bake these, so I'm gonna hit bake, and 400 looks like four, zero, zero. Four, zero, zero. And then I'm gonna hit start. That's gonna make my oven preheat while I get everything else mixed up. Let's take a look at the ingredients we're going to need for our blueberry muffin recipe, as well as the steps to making our blueberry muffins. You're gonna need two cups of flour. half a cup of sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a fourth a cup of butter. We want our butter to be melted. We also need one egg, one cup of milk, I like to use 2%, but any milk will do. And one and a half cup of blueberries. I prefer using frozen blueberries, but you can use fresh blueberries as well. Here are the steps you are going to need to make your blueberry muffins. 
Okay guys, so I have my large glass mixing bowl here that I'm gonna mix everything up in. I also have a whisk to stir and mix all of my ingredients with and a spatula because I'm going to need this when I fold in my blueberries. So let's get started with step number two on our recipe. Step number two says to mix together our flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. So I'm gonna dump them all in the bowl. I'm gonna give it a good mix around. The next step says to add my melted butter, which I have here. Melted butter, my egg, and also my milk. And stir until it's just moistened. So I'm gonna get my whisk again and start stirring. Make sure I get all of the ingredients mixed up. Stirring the sides to make sure there's nothing sticking. And stir it around till it's just moistened and everything's kind of um, mixed together. should look like this. Now, step number four says to gently fold in the blueberries. That means you're not using your whisk to stir them because you don't want to smash your blueberries. You're gonna use a spatula and just gently stir them in. They call it folding, mixing them in to your mix. And you feel like you've gotten them all nice and mixed in. We'll move on to our next step. Okay, all nice and mixed in. All right, so it's time for our next step, which is filling our muffin pan with our muffin batter and putting them in the oven to bake. You can either line your muffin pan with paper muffin cups if you have some, or you can spray it with some non-stick cooking spray or some butter um, or anything like that. Just make sure you either grease your pan or use muffin cups. I'm going to be using muffin cups in my pan. All right, so I have my muffins all ready to go in my muffin pan, and I'm gonna put them in the oven. I'm gonna be very careful because the oven's hot. Actually, I'm probably gonna ask my mom to do it. Mom? Mom? Hey mom, can you put these muffins in the oven? Oh yeah, that's right, I don't live with my mom. But I'm an adult, so I'm going to put my own muffins in the muffin pan, but you at home need to ask for help from mom or dad. And now it's time for me to set the timer for 25 minutes and then check on my muffins. So I'm gonna set my timer for 25 minutes. 25 looks like two, five, zero, zero. 25 minutes. And then I'm gonna hit start. All right, my kitchen's looking pretty clean from doing some dishes. So last step is that when these muffins come out of the oven, we are going to put a topping on them of some melted butter. So we're gonna need some more butter and a mixture of cinnamon and sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my butter melted and mix up my cinnamon and sugar right now while all my muffins are cooking in the oven. To make your cinnamon and sugar topping, you will need two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I like to mix these up in a jar or a bowl. You will also need two tablespoons of butter. Again, you're going to want your butter to be melted. 
I also like to get out a basting brush. I will use this to brush the butter on top of my muffins. All right, guys, so we have our blueberry muffins in the oven cooking. Oh, they're smelling so good already. I can't wait to eat one. While we're waiting, let's read our book, If You Give a Moose a Muffin. If you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another and another and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts on the sweater, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some old socks and he'll make a sock puppet. Guys, making a sock puppet is also a really fun idea you could do at home. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paint. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch. Oh, but his antlers will stick out, so he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him the sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. Uh-oh, this is a big mess. So he'll just use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Or in our case, maybe some blueberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. And he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. The end. Speaking of muffins, let's go see if ours are ready. Wasn't that a great book, guys? Oh, it's one of my favorites. Do you hear that? It's my timer. I think it's time to check on our muffins. Let's see if they're Our muffins are done when they're nice and golden brown. Yep, they look pretty done to me. Time to take them out of the oven. Hey, Mom? 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 Mom, the muffins are done. Mom? Oh, gosh, I forgot again. I don't live with my mom. Uh, but I'm an adult, so I'm gonna take my muffins out. Anytime I take something hot out of the oven, I always use my hot pads to protect my hands to make sure that they don't get burnt. Oh man, <sighs> these look so good. 
Now it's time to put on our special toppings. All right, to do our special muffin toppings, remember we have our melted butter. We're just gonna do a little bit of melted butter on the top of each muffin. I like to use this brush if you have one because it just really helps to brush the butter on in a nice, even coat. And then I'm going to take my cinnamon and sugar and I'm gonna sprinkle it on the top of each muffin. Oh, I'm making another mess I'm gonna have to clean up. All right. Ta-da! Now we're all done sprinkling the topping on. We're gonna wait for these to cool off a little and then we'll enjoy eating. Thanks for coming to make muffins with me today, guys, and read if you give a moose a muffin. I'm gonna dive in and enjoy, and I hope you're doing the same. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.